Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about how to land more work. I know everybody out there is killing it this spring, which is absolutely awesome. High five for that. But if you own a business, any service business, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Thanks for having a a, uh, check, a look, a hangout, a whatever. If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully, you dig it. Uh, Hopefully, it's uh, worthy of a thumbs up on uh, YouTube, even a comment, maybe. But go back and watch. We have 220 episodes of uh wcr nation and they're all 30 minutes long and it's been going on for years so like definitely go check it out hopefully you love it and hopefully you get something out of it but if you are one of the cool kids somebody who watches every episode you make sure to comment on everything youtube and you've commented in general on facebook posts well thank you i also 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 want to thank people for putting orders in through me. That's how I make my cheddar. If you guys ever wondered, YouTube doesn't pay anything, of course. Uh, We don't monetize our videos. But if you ever want to be like, dude, I kind of got a thing out of there. But anyway, here's a high five. Just let me put your order in. Uh, That is as easy as it can possibly be. But my cell phone, 862-312-2026. Shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Put it in. And I'll go ahead and put it in. I'll verify an address. Click go for you. It'll be so easy you won't even know. And it doesn't cost you a penny extra. Not a penny extra. In fact, it may even save you time because I'm going to be your guy. By the way, if you have questions also on anything, uh, either the show related or anything specifically, shoot me a text. I want to be your rep for everything. We are window cleaning resource and that is just what we want to do. So again, 862-312-2026. And uh, if you do have a order put in, where are we here? There's stickers. They're behind me. Tell me I want a cool kid sticker, and I'll make sure to include one in your order for free. They're limited edition and uh, super awesome. By the way, if you haven't checked it out also, here's some stickers. Sticker packs. You want sticker packs? Look at these. Look at these. If you're listening, you can't see, but I have a whole bunch of stickers. Stickers you see on the wall behind me are all from American Window Cleaner Magazine, the best magazine in the world for window cleaning. That's what I think, at least. So go to uh, awcmag.com. Get a subscription. Yes, a real paper subscription delivered to your door. You're going to get a magazine and a sticker sheet. It is absolutely different and custom every single month. So do that, awcmag.com. Get a subscription and be absolutely epically awesome. Anyway. Well, today we are talking about how to land more work. Here's the thing. I want to tell you right off the get-go that a lot of people are going to be like, I have enough work. No, we have everything we want. That's cool. Like, that is absolutely awesome. Some people will cap themselves and not make any more. Remember, you can still be stronger. If you've capped and been like, I don't advertise, I don't want more work, we turn away new work, I'm good. There are customers of yours that you can actually improve on right if you could swap one of the bad ones for a better high paying one or something like that uh, you would do it and eventually people are going to leave people are going to die or move or anything else Uh, sorry for being morbid but it's true right so even if you are capped which by the way if you're on youtube tell me if you're capped or what your cap would be if you had to make one Um, everybody puts out sexy numbers like a million dollars but tell me what your cap is But if you're not capped, which most of us aren't, we just want to do growth and we want to continue to be bigger and better every single day, then landing work is always going to be a chore, right? As you get bigger, you have a little bit more of an easy time. Why? Not just because you, you know, have more street cred, if you will, and all that, which helps, but it's that you talk to a thousand customers, it gets really easy. Right, you understand what to say, how to say it. You understand what they want from something and how to put it out there. And that's what we're talking about today. Is we're just talking about a ton of ways to make uh, more closes, to close more, to get more. And by the way, even if you're like stopped and you're like, dude, I'm maxed out, I'm golden. Cool. 
you're uh, you're awesome. Thanks for still sticking around. By the way, I do want to know one curious thing. If you are on YouTube, uh, I know I already told you to put something on there, but tell me how long you've been in business. How many years? Like, take a second and just put that in there now. I want to see the gambit of years. I mean, there are people who are in this for a very long time. There's people who listen that are new. There's people, I literally had carpet put in my house and the guy came in and this is like, my studio is like a room off of my bedroom. And uh, he walked in and saw the backdrop and he's like, oh my gosh, I watch your podcast. And he lays carpet. So there's a lot of people who aren't even in the industry that window clean, but tell me what uh, industry you're in and uh, how long you've been in business. But anyway, uh, so first off, what we're talking about is uh, increasing your closes, right? Landing more work. And the biggest thing that you can do is learn how to talk to people. This is one of those things that people go, yeah, I know. I know how to talk to people. I've been doing it all my life. Okay. Well, even people who are in sales... Uh, who have been doing hardcore selling, that's all they do, are still, they're wrapped up with uh, uh, coaches, they are getting um, uh, books, they're reading books, they're reading all of that stuff, right? There's so many benefits that come to that because there's always ways to improve. So even if you think you know how you're talking to people, understand that it's the way that you talk to people that will get you closes. And I'm telling you, You will land more work than you've ever thought possible if you change the way that you ask by not asking. And I've talked about this a few times before, but if you go into a place or you're talking to a customer or whatever, and they say, say you're talking to a residential person and you go, okay, your job is going to be $3.99. That's for track sales, frames, the whole kit and caboodle. If you say, and uh, would you like to book or what do you think? Or... Um, is it something that you want to go with? If you ask a yes or no question, there's a 50-50 chance, because there's two questions, two answers, I mean, that they're going to say no. They have a no. But if you don't ask a yes or no question, it helps lead the conversation to where they've already, they've already called you. Understand that it doesn't make you somehow a shady guy because you're telling people like, hey, I would love to get you booked, you know, what works better for you, uh, Tuesday the 3rd or, you know, Wednesday the, uh, uh, I don't know, 15th, right? It doesn't make you any shady and it doesn't, that's not the thing. People are so turned off by salespeople because they've dealt with bad ones who are pushy. That's not what we're doing, but they called you to do an estimate. They want the services done. Obviously, you just got to find out when. And a lot of times people call you, they want to be led. Um, I know that this is going against some of your, your, your brain, your thoughts, but when somebody calls you the professional, they want to be led. They're just like, Oh, I got this house. They want you to do the whole process. Let them know what's going to be included, all of this fun stuff. And let's book a date. If you just change the words that you're saying, it will improve your closes. Um, saying things like, when did you want that done on Tuesday or Wednesday? What works better for you? A nine o'clock appointment or afternoon? What works better morning or afternoon, spring or fall, whatever. The same thing with doing, um, repeat scheduling, which by the way, I'll touch on real quick. If you're booking people, that's awesome. But almost all of you are going to the job, doing the work getting the check and going, okay, well, when you're ready, call us. And you're just hoping they call you. Don't do that. What you should do, it, and let me rephrase that. I'm not saying you should do that because I'm just some dummy with a microphone. I don't know any better than anybody else. But what I think is one of the best things that you could possibly do is act like the dentist. No one goes to the dentist and leaves the dentist with all their next appointment scheduled. Right? All you do when you're all done, you get everything. How's everything look great? Okay, we can take everything back. Okay, awesome. So uh, I got you. Did you want to reschedule your next appointment in three months or did you want to go to six months? I didn't say a yes or no question. I'm not asking for 50% of a no, right? If they got it done, they're going to want to have it continually. If they really, really, really don't want it done, they go, you know what? We're going to wait. Oh, great. Well, I hope everything looked perfect for you. I hope it's not the service. No, no, we're just trying to wait. 
Well, we could push it out to a year if that helps you too. We'd like to get our schedule and we book up pretty fast. And if somebody's like, no, we'll call you. We'll let you know. Okay, not a problem. That person, when we leave, is not scheduled. But guess what? 75 to 85% of people are scheduled. Like, oh man, everything looks great. Awesome. Well, did you want to get this done again in three months or did you want to wait six months? And they go, you know what? I get a lot of people go, oh, three months, man. That'd be nice. It's like every season. That's what I let people know. Uh, if they say, we'll wait six months, I think. Okay, great. Uh, what day of the week works best for you? This is a Tuesday. Is the same appointment usually fine? We're going to call you the week of and let you know your, uh, give you kind of a reminder. But is this the same good day for you? Yeah, that's awesome. And then you leave there already filling up your calendar. But again, if you ask them and you say, hey, uh, would you like to reschedule now? 90% of people are going to tell you no. And not even because it's not a uh, yes or no 50-50 chance. It's because they're done right now. If you just get done eating a big meal and you're super full, and you go, oh man, would you like to uh, get a gift certificate to come back here? Most people are going to be like, oh no, uh, I'm going to come back. It's awesome, but uh, no, not right now. I can't even think of a, uh, more food, right? It's just because of what's in the mindset. So it's the way that you talk that actually improves what you do. Um, that's one way. The other thing is if you're doing route or you're going into commercial customers, it's the same thing of not saying yes or no, not bringing it up. And I talked about this before, so I'm just going to touch on it. But a lot of times people go in and they go, man, I sold for eight hours. I didn't sell anything. Well, how did you talk? I'm really good at talking. I walk in I'm like, hey, can I give you an estimate? My name is Jersey from XYZ. Okay, so that's a chance for a no. Then you give them the quote and say, oh, is this uh, cheaper than your other guy? That's a chance for a no. You give them a quote and go, oh, did you want uh, ins and outs? Or uh, how did you want that? They're going to go, well, no. You know, like there's all those chances you do. So to change that and, again, lead a conversation to where uh, it benefits both of you is that you want to go in and you want to go in and say, Hey, I'm Jersey from XYZ. Uh, we're in the area. We do this, this, and this. I just wanted to drop off a price and quote for you. Here's a bunch of information and slide them the already filled out form. They can't say no. If you give it to them, they can't say no. They will take the information. If they're not going to book with you, fine. But you got through to the last step. Now, there's some debate in how you finish talking to a commercial customer. Uh, a lot of times you give them, they go, oh, great. Oh, that looks that's awesome. Well, we're in here Wednesdays. Do Wednesdays work for you? You're leading the conversation, right? You don't go, oh, uh, do you like that price? Oh, did you want to start service? Oh, did you understanding that the way you talk to people is the way that the conversation goes. If you ever want a conversation to continue to go, you lead the conversation. Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, wow, that's awesome. What do you do? You can continue to ask and go into that conversation. If you ever want a conversation to end, that's it. You just, you stop talking. You're not leading the conversation if you're not saying anything, Right? So make sure that it's the way you talk. And I know a lot of us think that we talk perfectly, but there's always room for improvement. That's a big one. Another one that, they, uh, that really helps is upselling. Understand that upselling is the way you talk, but after the fact. The big thing with upselling is that when you go to do a service and you're doing just that service, it's because most of the time you haven't let them know all the other services or things that could be offered. Hey, we're here. Did you also need your gutters clean? Now I'm not talking about a bait and switch again. Everybody thinks that there's some kind of, you know, negative side of sales. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about telling them, oh, it's 99 bucks. You get there and being like, oh, sorry, it's 399, but we're here. We'll get it done. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you get to a job of somebody who obviously wants your service. Remember, we're a luxury. It's a want, not a need. Maybe they want your other services. If they're not getting up on a ladder to do windows, they're not going to get up on a ladder to do gutter cleaning. Maybe their facade looks bad. Maybe their hardscapes look bad in your pressure washing or your roof, right? Always putting in the option to upsell is going to help you land more work. I'm telling you, if you could somehow increase 
that one out of 10 jobs now added on an upsell. Think about this. You only know this on your, your own, right? But think about how much an upsell costs. What's the average upsell? Our average upsell, average, singular upsell was $327. That was our average upsell. Now we do patio stoops, uh, pressure washing for you know as low as like 149. Um, but we do a lot of roofs. We do a lot of house washing. We do a lot of paired services and things like that. Our average add-on was $327. Imagine if one out of 10 customers found out you did something else that they needed and added on more service. Now you're landing one out of 10 for 327 bucks. That's crazy. That's like instantly improving everybody's uh, check, increasing every job you ever do by $32. One out of 10, 10%, right? Who wouldn't do that? Who wouldn't look at increasing that? Remember, if you're trying to build a company that is just as big as it could be or as healthy as it could be or as strong as it could be, all these little things help. If you do all of the things you ever possibly can do, you're going to be there. These are little things. Upsell is one of them. Make sure you're letting people know. And I know everybody thinks that everybody knows what you do. They don't. Tell them why you. Another big, big one to land more work is not price-based. It just isn't. What it is based on is why. The why you, right? Yes, nobody wants to pay 10 times more for something. But think about your life. Have you ever bought Starbucks? Have you ever bought in, uh, farmer's market stuff? You have, probably. It's not the price. You get a cup of coffee for $8 from Starbucks. You can go to a, a cafe or make your own cup for like 30 cents. I don't even think it's that high. Yeah, convenience is a factor. That's why people have you over to their house in the first place because you're more convenient to have them do their windows than for them to do them themselves. But why the price? What value do they bring? Everything from logo design to feel to look to everything is set. Starbucks makes their own words up just so you feel like part of the culture that they've created that didn't exist before them. The why is more important than the price. The why is more important on why somebody books. I always use this example, but I love it. Um, but if I was going to sell something to you right now, and you had to buy it. I got a gun to your head. I got two things. I'm not going to tell you what they are. The first one costs a hundred bucks. The second one's a thousand. What would you pay? Gun to your head, a hundred. You always buy a hundred. It's the lowest one. You don't know what you're getting. It's the price. That's all you see is price. The only thing you can focus on is price. Well, now, if I tell you it's a brand new Ferrari, brand new Ferrari, serious? Yeah, absolutely. Well, can I get two at a thousand? Yeah, yeah, you can. Right. Once you know what it is you're buying, and understanding, it changes the game. It's not just based on price if you give them something else to base it on. If you're the guy who has the best guarantees, you're the super nicest guy, you show up clean, you look at me, you make them feel awesome, you bring them cookies, you get all these things, you're like, I'll never use somebody else. I don't care. It's not price. Do you, you know, wear booties in my house? Do you bring me fresh cookies? Right? Do you send me flowers on my birthday or whatever weird extra things you're doing? All of a sudden, they focus on more than the price. If you only have to focus on the price, that's only what you have to focus on. So tell them why. We talk about the USP, and every time I ask you guys to post it in YouTube, put me, tell me your USP, your unique selling point, unique selling proposition, whatever. Every single time, two people answer. It amazes me how many people don't even understand why they're the best. And again, I'm just some dummy with this microphone right here. That's it, right? I'm nobody. I don't know anything more than anybody, but it shocks me when I say, what's your unique selling point? And they go, oh, we're, the, we're really nice. What? Well, people really like me, and you know that's not a unique selling point. 
because you you can't with growing be at every job you think they like you it's the same thing when people are like oh yeah i couldn't get out of the field my customers would hate it nope that's in your head thousand percent because they just find somebody else that they like you just get all of a sudden your your operations officer the guy that's on there crew chief your techs they're the ones that they really like people do not like you as much as you think they like that you're nice they like that you're awesome that's not a unique selling point a unique selling point is why they choose your company and it's not just you because people have employees I ran employees. I was not in the field. I sold my company a while back. But I was not in the field for probably six years before that I sold it. I was doing the office stuff. There's so much other things there. I talked to people on the phone. Nobody ever met me. So if you tell me that your unique selling point is because you're so awesome, it's a lie. Because I didn't even see the people. They really liked my operations officer. They really liked my crew chiefs. They liked my techs. But what's your unique selling point? Why does somebody choose you? And don't focus on price. Focus on value. Again, there's always going to be a dollar cheeseburger at McDonald's. And there's always going to be a $15 cheeseburger at a sit-down fancy restaurant. Why do you get that one? Oh, it's thick and juicy. It's so good. Real big. There's real tomatoes. And they take like the... You see, the fries are so good. And I can have it with a beer. And I can do this. And I have this... The why. The why. You're still getting a burger. If you're hungry, you're not hungry. No matter which way you go. A dollar burger from McDonald's or a $15 burger. Right? There is a why. We get into experience. Experience is the why. A lot of that kind of thing. But don't focus on price. Focus on value. Tell them why they're choosing you. Right? And it's the way that all that's construed together to let them know that it's you if you go and give somebody a price here's just another example you give somebody a price like oh that that price will be a 199 if it's in their ballpark of what they already thought and they need their windows done or want their windows done they're like oh okay uh yeah i'm gonna just uh, make a couple of the calls you know do my due diligence and i'll let you know because now all they have to do is compare pricing if they already know, be like, yeah, that's kind of what my last guy had charged and I can't get a hold of him anymore. I say, yeah, I do. They don't know. All they know is the price. They need a service done. Here's the price done. But what if? What if you were like, hey, so your price comes out at $199. Now, that's all of your windows. I clean all of the frames on them. I'm going to be using a pure water technology system that cleans everything on there. No chemicals used, which is really, really nice. I don't even have to get on ladders, so it's ultra safe for us. And uh, you don't have to worry about us damaging gutters or anything like that with those ladders. Uh, once we're done with all that, we wipe down all those sills. Make sure everything is spot free. We take all your screens down. We clean all the screens through our awesome screen cleaning machine. It helps us to get a thorough job. Again, no chemicals in that, just water and brushing. And then we put everything back up after it's dried, cleaned, and we leave it spot free. Also, our techs are always logoed and letter. We have only wear these polos or these shirts. And then every tech that we have has a name badge. It's going to be a photo ID. And on that photo ID, it has a star system. The stars indicate how much training they've been through. So if you're ever questioning, you can always look at their name tag. Right? If you just go in, we also have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So there's absolutely nothing for you to worry about. We have a seven day rain guarantee, meaning if it rains within seven days of our service and that rain dirties your window, we'll come back and make those look perfect for you. We also are fully insured. Of course, we carry a $2 million policy, but we'll never, we've never had to use a policy on anything because we take the utmost. Like if you put all that out there, again, the way you talk, you put it all out there. All the things they get. It's the same price as the 199 guy. All those things. All of those things the way it is. And the next guy comes in and goes, it'll be 199 Which one are you choosing? Which one are they choosing? If the next guy comes in and goes, oh, it'll be 175 Well... Even at a lower price, they're going, well, 
It's just window cleaning. This other guy, man, he really knows his stuff. He's taking all the... T- uh, we'll pay the 199 People will then pay more because they understand the value is that much higher. It's the same thing as if uh, somebody says to you, oh, uh, do you price match? Do you whatever? Do you, can you drop the price any? No, I can't drop the price, but what I can do is tell you that our service includes blah, 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 and that uh, front door of yours, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the inside and outside for you so that there's no dog nose prints or anything on it. You're adding value or letting them know that the value is increased or that they have more value in that. They're not focused on price. A big one, big one is listening to them. A lot of times, people don't listen. They think they are because in their brain, as soon as they're talking, they're going, okay, I got to tell them about this guarantees. And then, um, man, that's, yeah, this is going to be a bad, I like, yep, we got a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Person's like, okay. Like, understand that when people are talking to you, they are always going to tell you problems. They're always going to tell you pain points. A pain point is why somebody's buying, right? If somebody comes up to you and they say, oh man, my last guy, I can't get a hold of the guy. I don't know. I mean, he showed up one day and it took him two days. He had to come back the one time because he forgot something. Like, I don't know. I mean, this guy showed up. He was wearing no sleeves. I don't know, just, I mean, he was good. He did fine work, but, and you going, well, yeah, we're going to be to that guy's price. They're going to be like, okay, well, I mean, he's pretty cheap. I don't even remember what I paid. They're not focused on price. They just told you all of their pain points. The guy didn't show up. The guy looked like a dumpster fire. He wasn't prepared. He was probably like a part-time guy who didn't take it very seriously and was doing it for beer money. You listen to what they say. The response is going to be like, oh, man, well, I'm sorry you had such an uh, uh, unpleasant uh, experience with another window cleaner, but uh, just so you know... This is what we do. Our entire company runs on you being absolutely happy. So our job is going to be done in the most efficient time as possible. We don't ever have to come back a second day. We're going to make sure that it's done right and it's done at the time of service. And when we show up, our trucks are fully loaded. We have absolutely everything we need. So there's very, very seldom uh, a time that anything is needed to be gotten from our warehouse or our shop or whatever. You've just taken their pain points and said, I'm going to fix those for you. They didn't ask you price. They may not even remember price. Now, if you come in and it'll be $40,000, they're going to be like, okay, I can't not look at the price. But if you're there in the ballpark, you're going to take away their pain point. They don't have to worry about it. You get the job. Listen to them because they're telling you what they want to know. They're telling you what they want fixed. Always. And if they don't, how you say it, you can get it out of them. And a big one to land more work that a lot of, I mean, I would say 100% of you could do better. I've never met somebody who is perfect at this. I hope you're listening. It's focus on your existing customers. People are so focused on new customers, which is great, right? That creates a larger pool of people that you're doing, but it doesn't always translate to more money because if you have customers, you're one and those customers are not using you six months later, you're losing money. If they're not using you a year later, you're losing even more money. It's all compounding. They're going to find somebody else. Focus on your existing customers. That will help you land more work. I mean, I send postcards monthly, email, newsletters, do phone blasts in the spring, fall, call them, find out what's going on, right? Get those appointments done before you leave their place. Did you want this done in three months from now or six months? Just try that for one week. Confidently try it. I'm telling you, it'll change your world. If you've ever not made more money because of this show, uh, maybe you're new and maybe you're like, this guy is a dummy. But I'm telling you, most people, that have watched or listened to episodes have gotten something out of this that have like really either opened their eyes or uh, made them more money just in general. And it's not because anything I'm saying is smarter unknown. 
What it is is that sometimes you just have to be told it again so that your brain registers it. And you know this stuff just like I do. But the big thing is, is implementing it. If you go out there and do it, now you've just changed the game. You've just changed your company. Turning things around like that is big. Is big. When you start setting up, now just think about this. If you've been in business for any amount of time, but I'm talking right to you right now, just think. If you had 75% of all of the jobs you've done already this year, we're recording this in July, up to this point, 75 plus percent of all the jobs you've done are already in the calendar for the next appointment. What? What? Maybe you've made $20,000 so far this year. Maybe you've made $50,000, $100,000. Maybe you're at $250,000, $500,000 already this year. What if 75% of that was already in the calendar for their next appointment? What if 90, 95% of those people were in your calendar? What if even 50% of them were already in your calendar? You already have... If you've already done $500,000, you have, even at 50%, you suck at conversating and communicating, right? Maybe you do and you've only gotten 50% of people to get back in there because you're still working on it. 50%, that means you have $250,000 on the books. Maybe you've made $100,000 this year. 50% is $50,000 of work on the books that are not new customers. Now every customer you put on there that's new is on top of that. Anyway, I'm riled up. I'm sorry. But if you don't have a person who uh, you can call on or text and get you supplies, then now you do. Hi, my name is Jersey. I work with window cleaning research. No, really. Uh, do call me. My number is 862-312-2026. Yes, it's my actual cell phone. Text me. Call me. Whatever. Let me put your orders in, please. I am looking at a brand new Toyota Corolla that, uh, I'm just kidding, it's not new. Uh, no, uh, but I do want to put your orders in. That is how I make my cheddar and uh, how I can exist. If you haven't yet either, and you really want to do like the ultimate, biggest, awesomest favor for me and you, is get the American Window Cleaner magazine. Literally. You know what a magazine subscription costs? Nothing. It's a whole year. 12 issues mailed to your door. And you get sticker sheets. Stickers. Ooh. All window cleaning stickers. Why not? Because they're cool. Look at, look, at, look at it. Just say no. I mean, come on. Come on. Dinosaur with the water. Come on. Uh, no, but definitely uh, go and uh, check that out. Uh, some cool sticker designs actually coming uh, out. We have the... Uh, uh, you haven't even seen this one. Street Busters yet. And uh, Water for the Pole. Where are we? Go get it. American Window Cleaner Magazine, awc.ma. I'm sorry, awcmag.com. Anyway, enough for me. Go out there and make sure you're learning everything. Sell, land more work, and more importantly, go out there and be epic.